Pro Controller meta? Outdated. Though I am snapbacking less, but I think there's a whole new issue at hand. I am not touching the controller. Maybe this is something she doesn't want known and that's why she hasn't said anything. Or you're just going crazy. So we can do some more quests later on, heal up on everything. Uh... Well, you've heard the chorus voices, right? Uh, oh. Thank God he missed. Like and subscribe. Are you okay? No! I'm all right. Never mind, he's fine. Right, he, he, he fell out of the sky. I thought the tree might be in your way, so I came to dispose of it. Oh, well, thank you. This is for you. Leather glow. Oh, not the hemp. Well, we'll get there. So yeah, I mentioned this in the Rune Factory 3 playthrough, but uh, yeah, so this is what the uh, woolly form basically turned into. So a lot of the skills are transferred into these new weapon styles, which are the gloves. <laughs> there we go. Okay, that's actually perfect. Can I put this further? I can. I mean, I could have just chopped them, it's actually easier, and it gives me a reason to use the room. I mean, we are gonna go see the dungeon too, right? So, I should also check if maybe the letter gloves will give me a slot for... I really hope furniture is easier to place in Rune Factory 5. <laughs> yeah. I've been hearing strange voices that night. Okay, so yeah, just like in Rune Factory 3, uh, the characters will comment on recent events. You know, just, just as a hint, it's more explicit in this game, which, you know... I mean, Rune Factory 3 was a bit uh, explicit as well, but it's just an observation. She thinks it's Xiao Pai. I hear mysterious growling from the ruins. This is someone must be very hungry. Maybe you should try feeding it, Porcaline, but I'm hungrier. I'm gonna have to look at it, but I do need the help of one other person. Some people are saying it might be a ghost, but that can't be true, can it? <laughs> She's shaking just as much as the by the way sign. But uh, let's go on an adventure. I hear you're going to the ruins. That place is quite mysterious and indeed. Do you want to join me? You said you wanted a mystery. I got you the mystery. When do you get more weapons? Hold on, I'm looking this up. No, it's just telling me uh, where to where to upgrade them. Oh, I might have to do more quests here. Because then it upgrades more flowers, right? Then it says harvest three flowers, which I did. Good night, sleep tight. Don't let the bed bugs... Wait, no. Focus, clerk of focus. These feel like- these feel more like voice messages rather than uh, letters. But a variety of flowers. Oh. Three types. Oh, she said types. So buy one of these. And I'll buy one of these. It's nice. <laughs> Thank you, Forte. I like how they sometimes update you on the time of day. It's cool to just hear some of the voice acting work. Two days. Well, that's actually faster. You know what? I'll get- yeah, because 24 divided by 3 is 8, so I can just get- everything and we have so much money to spare let's go the farming empire grows yeah this game does a really good job at helping the farming feel more natural and progressive yeah it, honestly it's funny to say that if root factory 4 has made uh has reminded me how much i appreciate the farming aspect of farming sims i mean nothing's stopping me from doing it in the other ones but i don't know i guess when you don't really feel like you have to you just don't do it uh yeah because now we can progress out of the game which the game felt a bit limited at the start so it's good to it's good to know that you have more options to do as things go on which is something i praise out of trio of towns which is weird because the game this game does something very similar but i don't praise it as much uh now i'm just running all over the place just trying to think of things that i need to do I'm hungry. you're hungry uh oh i have rice you want rice this will help. is there a way i can like Oops. Oh, I was hoping there'd be like a shortcut to order this. Oh my god, we're two hearts already? Yeah, so now we can start exploring, but... Oh, oh hold on. <laughs> it's just really funny to see Forte unfazed. Oh, and I got my rice back. Let's go. I don't know if I should eat these yet. Just in case, because I'm always... No, 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 because this game actually has the failsafe where if you can't learn from it, then it just gives it back to you. Nope, oh, a longsword charge attack. And then launch an enemy straight into the air. All right. Yo! And there's a mushroom area down here. Oh, a horse? I think it came from over here. Let's check it out. Oh, hey, Scrags. Oh, wow, it really is you. What are you doing here? I should be asking you the same thing. Yeah, I was doing some field work over there. I'm studying the ancient ruins around here and trying to learn more about the land. So I'll often go poking around in them to see what I can find. Wow, but what about the monsters? That's true. <laughs> you know, I never really thought about that. 
The villagers here do look pretty funny. Wait, is this the? Yeah, the compatibility. Yeah, this is this is a fun little thing. So, uh, if you bring someone on an adventure with you and then you go to this guy, then you can kind of just talk to them. It's random every day, so it doesn't really matter. But you get some fun little dialogue with them. I see it. I see the lines of fate stretch between you two as clear as day. It's not very good. Your compatibility quotient is 21. Wait, quotient? That's the result of division, right? So what did he divide it by? Well, it's just fortune telling. We don't have to take it too seriously. <laughs> oh no, poor Forte. I'm robbing you. <laughs> We're just targeting this poor guy. Ooh. Yo, $50. I guess just attacking everything here is fine. Oh my god, 800. I guess it wouldn't hurt just to get the XP. Cause like, Forte levels up too, right? Oh, I'm not a big fan of the buffer, because I can't just, like, mash it. <laughs> you can just see it blink. You're level 12. Oh, and you have a lot of HP. I mean, I guess when you're protecting, right, it makes sense. I think this game also has checkpoints, so if you just do this, then... No, you just go back to this. Right. Okay. Well, it does have checkpoints, but, like, you have to walk quite a ways away before it starts to, like, put you back to certain save blocks. You can also go here, which is something we can explore as well. Mushrooms. <laughs> Final shot! I didn't know she had different variations of calling out her attack. That's cool. Let's move on. Let's actually go check the uh, next dungeon now. Because yeah, if you go here and then you go up here, then you can save here. The ruins is just up ahead. So this is the water ruins. Good. This voice. As Venti said, this is definitely where the voices are coming from. Alright. Where did they- Oh my god. Okay. The, oh, let's go. I've never seen these letters before. But, uh, oh, hello. What are you doing here? I could ask you the same thing. This place is crawling with monsters. Spacing out like that could get you killed. <laughs> well, I guess I was wrapped up in trying to figure out what's written here. Didn't even notice. Man, I'm a nervous wreck when I'm around you. Seems like that's a trend. Here, take this. You might need it. Oh, fireball? Well, that's none of your business. Sorry, sorry. Anyway, never mind. Okay. <laughs> um, uh, come to think of it, you, uh, are you familiar with the rune sphere? Can't say I'm familiar with that term. Right, I guess you did lose your memory. What's this all about? <laughs> I'm just looking for it. That's all. Anyway, I should go. All right. Good luck with your search. One more thing, though, before I leave. You better not be committed to that fool. Huh? That fool. Oh, hello, Forte. Scrags, don't go alone. Yeah, <laughs> I do have recovery potions, but you know what? I also have mushrooms. Oh, oh my. They drop recovery potions too? I won't even need a pharmacy. Yeah, also, in this game, I feel like the AI is a lot better. You know, they're not like running into walls randomly and they're not uh, dying. Oh, grapes? Oh. What are you looking for? I'm taking a lot of damage, but... Oh, a blue ribbon. Oh, oh it's time I... Okay, that makes sense. All right, I should probably head back soon as well. Oh, I should probably put this in here as well. And I'll just eat this. Cheap axe. There's nothing here, actually. I'm thinking of the wrong area, I think. All right, you are gonna... Wait, you are a... Okay, no, I'm out of here! I'm out of here! 243 gold cringe why can't you let me play for free well i mean i did beat the first boss so and wait no it's not my bed this is my bed all right here we go this is the first rune factory for festival uh, aren't you scared uh admittedly a little bit because i don't remember how tough this next boss is but without my hammer i don't feel safe at all <laughs> Oh, hey, Raven. Our daily watering session. I wonder who will win this year. It will surely be a close call. It is a bit early, but yeah. So just like uh, Wells in Rune Factory 3, he'll tell you the rules of the upcoming festival and stuff. And also unique to this game, well, the 3DS and the Switch port, but Vulcanon will also tell you who's the favorite to win. Usually uh, the day before, everyone's going to say, oh, the new guy's going to win. Oh, it's going to be you. And then everyone's brutally honest on the actual day. And yeah, so Jiaopai is the one 
that is projected to win this one. Which, you know, makes sense. But let's see, let's see. I've been honing my skills ever since the Bean Toss Festival of Rune Factory 3, so who knows? Maybe this time I will come out on top. Though I guess in Rune Factory 3 there was no Xiao Pai, but um, it's okay. That was the warm up. This time I got this. For real. I am still trying to enter houses before 9. Admittedly, a very concerning look for me. But, alright, I don't have much for shops. Oh, yes, sell more things. I know it's just accessories, but... Oh, struggling prince. Let's go! Upgrades! New backpack and build a monster barn. Oh, cool. Oh, this is for free? Oh, I need... Okay, it's not exactly for free. Also in this game, all of the bachelors and bachelorettes will get a, uh, will get along in the town square. Uh, the bachelors usually chill out around here, and the bachelorettes chill out around here. And they have some group uh, discussions over here. As more people come to the town, there's gonna be more, like, discussions and talk about that, and wow, we are making it up on this. We are almost at 6,000 gold. Which, honestly, considering how we were struggling for cash earlier, this is a- this is a nice change of pace! Have you ever seen Mama get truly mad? If not, how can you call this chasing away the demons with a straight face?! What do you mean by that?! Before to get serious, she focuses on one single thing and loses sight of everything else. I figured if that happened to me, it'd be dangerous, so I put everything serious away! That's the spirit! No, please, seriously, give me a- Huh? Let's go! 340? That's a steal! Give me that! Aw, oh, yeah! <laughs> oh yeah, there's a sorting thing. I don't think that's in 3, actually. But yeah, now I can just go out here and... There we go. Now we're making big damage. Okay, we're back. We're back in business. Uh, oh, 11 to 8. Team. Okay, we actually have quite a bit of time then. No. Uh, yeah, I guess I'm just killing time until we can participate in the festival. It's good to see that, um, gameplay-wise, that you can still access the shops during these festivals. Oh yeah, so, uh, in this game, whenever you interact with your, uh, diary, it'll let you know of, uh, of an event that's happening in the game. So, like, if you're currently in a story quest, it'll let you know. Uh, what the story quest is, sort of like how Mario and Luigi games remind you whenever you save, there's like a banner that basically explains the gist of what happened recently. I don't remember if you could do it in past games, but you can ask someone to follow you and lead them back to their story shop. Really? I mean, it makes sense, because as even if they're just wandering around the shop, you can just hey. ask them to buy from anywhere. I'll just wait here until he stares down his, uh... Oh, oh, oh my god, he's eating it. All right, let's participate. Now then, allow me to explain- <laughs> I'm still in the animation of putting away my weapon. And if you allow yourself to be hit by the rare pink beans, well, <clears throat> pardon me, but that part is a secret. The more times you're hitting- oh yeah, it's- besides the pink beans, everything else is the same as Rune Factory 3. So, here we go! Nope. Whoa, oh, okay, okay. Combo's going well so far. If I hit a failed dish, there's no shot I'm winning this, though. I can't lose. You're right. Let's go. I'm going. I'm going. No! Unless I can still get 10,000 points somehow. Come on. Come on. Come on. We'll see. That was pretty good. That was pretty decent. Third place is... Oh, they build it up. Fortune with 37.52. Okay. Okay. All right. So I either got second or first. No! Yeah. Yeah, you need 10,000. <laughs> A true under- <coughs> Okay, don't kid yourself, Linfa. Thank you. Oh, I got a shirt? I don't have enough of a cooking skill yet, so I am just going to keep these to the side. And it doesn't subtract from it, which is nice. 45, yeah. Oh, how much does this sell for? Okay. You know, I could get the clean one, but uh, <laughs> I think the fact that I just got the shirt from someone else is much funnier to me. Wait a minute, I didn't win? How come? I don't know. What? How could I not win? I don't know. It was just a theory. Uh, yeah. That was lots of fun. Beans are so yummy. I wouldn't mind doing this every day. Were you eating the beans? Oh, uh, I think you ate the beans. <laughs> Yo, winner's POV, what's up? Uh, congratulations. Thanks. Wait, what happens if I say, I'll beat you next time? Oh, I accept your challenge? Aw, that's actually so wholesome. Anyway, where is Forte? Okay, no, she's over here. Okay, no wonder I missed her. The conditions today were nearly perfect. 
a little too perfect, in fact. I got so carried away, I started dodging the beans. I mean, I guess with a, a habit like that, I, that makes sense. All right, now that I have my weapon of choice, nothing can stop me. Well, hold on. I need the funny move first. Right, we can go. Wait, hold on. I don't think I'm done going this way. Oh, yeah! Here we go. Okay, this this is the axe or hammer dash attack. I hope they didn't patch this out. So this attack is really good in this game, much better than in Rune Factory 3. And the reason for that is because, hopefully I don't make a fool out of myself, you can cancel out of it! Which means, whenever you are attacking someone, you can mash it and stun lock the opponents. This makes it very useful if you want to grind in like really bloated up areas. This is a lot more comfortable on the 3DS though. <laughs> so you can just do this! <laughs> Alright, let's go up here. Oh yeah, wait, no no, what am I doing? Just do this. Well, not on this guy because he is a physical thing. Never mind. Oh wait, no no, I have to go on the bridge here. Ugh. Forte, nice! She literally read my mind there. Fish fossil. <laughs> Some collectors would kill to find one, not Pia. You know what, I'm just gonna eat a mushroom here just so I can clear up some space. Uh, not exactly what I was hoping for. You know what, it's fine, it was gonna happen eventually, I came prepared. We're level 9, which is great. We're honestly moving at a pretty good pace. Hopefully the boss isn't as hard as I remember it. Oh, that was a... Fine. <laughs>